Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one, I thought I'd do something a little bit more different. Uh, just talking about uh, just where I stand on the game overall in general and my feelings on how this anniversary has gone and you know, just things of that sort. Um, so no PvP. Uh, PvP resets in, what is it, 10, like four hours. Um, so I won't be able to get to Trunks probably till Thursday. So, um, yeah, just because I won't have any time. But, so, I'm doing this instead. Um, so, let's see. Uh, just start with PvP. Um... Yeah, so I just want to discuss like some issues and things that I think would improve the game um, for everybody, uh, like Legends and the user base as well. Um, okay, let's start with this, for example, this boost here. Uh, it's been talked about a lot. Um, by a bunch of different content creators, and I'm sure by everybody that actually plays the game, um, and how that it shouldn't exist for the new units. Um, the units that should be excluded from this should be the LFs, the new LFs, and the Ultra units. Ultra units should be nowhere near this featured boost. Like Hit, for example, the guy gets 300% damage pretty easily like you just have to do uh you know enter a couple times and then do like six cards like that's not very hard obviously um and then he's pretty much all set right and then do his time skip which is uh, another thing that's ridiculous but yeah um they should be on here uh on feature boost uh since like it started it's been terrible it's like i said it's been one of the you know hot topics of discussion for everybody uh content creators and people that have been playing the game like free to play units i don't care it's whatever um honestly just make them better like why would you have them on feature boost like keep them on feature boost it's whatever like people don't really use them obviously uh they use them like first couple days to maybe a week maybe a little bit longer but that's about it um and then obviously that's it right why would you want to use these units when you can use like broken ass units uh like this right kid boo for example or, in, or any ultra right actually these units so far of the anniversary have been pretty good like all of them in general um yeah um they also like throw like random like good uh units like s tier and a tier which is so I don't really know if they actually go over this seriously. Um, it doesn't look like there's anybody, I mean, shallots in S tier. And what is S tier? S tier is 30% damage. So, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, I really care. He's a free to play unit and he's like their unit, right? Their own creation. So I don't really mind that. It doesn't matter to me. But yeah, the broken ass units, like keep them out of here. Like they don't need to be in here at all. Like, why? Why is this unit? You just did this unit. Like, you fixed them. Fixed them, quote-unquote. Even though they didn't really need that much fixing, like, that's too much. They went too far with this unit. Like, they're actually ridiculous. Um, I mean, Zenkais or whatever, it doesn't matter. They get, what, uh, 8%. Like, that's nothing. I don't really care about that. Zenkais don't matter. But yeah, just overall, like, this is so stupid. Why would they do this? Like, support units... That's fine too, I don't care. Um, just, yeah, just keep the LFs and the Ultras out of here. Like, they don't need to be on here. Why? They're too good to be in here. That's pretty much it for a boost. Uh, the ranking, um, it's a three-week season. It's another three-week season. Three-week seasons are pretty crap. Um, I don't really know too many people that actually like three-week seasons. Uh, it's pretty dragged. Uh, to be real, like, like the leader has 42,000, right? Like, you have to play non-stop all the time. And, of course, it's, like, all Japanese players, right? So, 
almost all Japanese. I'm not too sure if they're all Japanese, but majority of them are. So they're playing nonstop all day. Like it's a job, right? To to do this, and uh, it's a, essentially like an actual job to get number one. I'm actually surprised this year. It's I don't know if they fix this or not, but uh, there's I haven't found a single cheater at all. Maybe you guys found one, but I looks I I kind of grazed through it all, but I couldn't find a single one. My gosh, it's so surprising to me. Like every single season, the past few seasons at least, uh, the number one team, the number one user is a cheater. Obviously, this guy's not. That's a you know the number one team in Japan or whatever. So yeah, uh, that's actually a pretty good pretty good W. Maybe they're on top of that now. I'm not too sure. If they are, that's fantastic. Like, people actually, like, that want to go to number one and grind that much, like, they they earn that, right? Um, it's, like, disheartening to grind every single day uh, trying to get to number one, and then you see number one is just a cheater who, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, shit. Um, DCs. Goddamn. Drawing a blank. Okay. Uh, yeah. So he DCs all the time, right? He f they face bots. And then the people that face those people also face bots. So they're in the top, usually five. And they're not in there, so it's actually great. Uh, the season rewards, uh, they've never made sense. I discussed this in my live stream that I just did, uh, a couple hours ago. Um, how you can be number two in the world and number 1,000th and have the exact same rewards. How, what? How is that a thing? Like, it's literally the same thing. Like, is it the same, is it the same thing? Yeah, right? I'm pretty sure it's the same title. Yeah, same title, same rare medals, same CC, Z, uh, Z power, erasers, and Zenny. Like, that's ridiculous. Are you number two in the world and you get the same amount as number 1,000th? That's crazy. That needs to be changed. It should be, like, you, you should even get more, to be real, if, if you're rank one. Number one in the world? And you're not a cheater? Like, come on, man. Like, they need to give them more than that. At least a rotation, right? At least, uh, I would say, an L LF rotation. Right? 3,500 uh, 3, CC. And this is obviously higher than usual, right? Because it's three week season, it's fifth anniversary. So they're given more. So usually, uh, what is it? It's around a thousand something. Uh, 1300, yeah, it's, it's doubled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you only usually get 1300. That's terrible. Like what can you do with 1300? You can't do anything. That's like one multi, that's it, that's terrible. You Again, you spend all that time doing that and then that's all you get. Like. Why? Why bother? The god rank doesn't mean anything. The rank, uh, the reward system in this game is terrible in PvP. Like, they know. Toshi mentions it every single reveals and stuff that people don't play PvP, obviously. People don't play PvP because you have, like, I don't know, it's probably almost 80 million users. And you have... I don't even know how many people actually play. Probably not even that much. I would imagine. Like people probably more jury just Oh really? Oh. Oh okay. I thought the game was actually going up. Okay. Uh yeah, we're also getting uh summon uh summon PvP and tournament power, which nobody cares about. Who cares about tournament power? Uh that's gonna be a bait banner. I'm guessing USV is gonna be back on that. Since we have UGB and UVB is going to come out, I would imagine. Everything's pointing to that. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty much... Uh, actually, a couple more things on PvP. Um, they also need to fix, which they're not going to do. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. And the missions, I, I've said it before. But... Uh, where is it? Oh, no, wait. Not in, in events. Um... Please load, thank you, Legends, as always. Uh, this here. Um, it's the thing that, uh, I guess, training, yeah, 
training to be better at Legends and learning everything about how fantastic and cool this game is. Uh, where is it now? It's time to anyway. train and get even Nintendo, stronger. To practice. Right here, PVs. Learn how to PV, right? Uh, putting those in the game is one of the worst decisions they've ever made. Uh, Novi likes PVs because all everybody does in PVP is try to fish for them constantly. And then with their broken units, they have constant blues and greens somehow. Uh, that's absolute bullshit that it's one in one. One green card, one blue card? No. Because every time I use a garbage team, not even every time I use a garbage team, but just in general, uh, but more so when I use a garbage team, uh, it's more noticeable. They have blues and green every hand. Every single hand they have it. Like there's no way that the they don't put more blues and greens on these new units. Like there's no way. That's not possible. Like statistically, that's impossible. I don't buy that at all. It doesn't make any sense how these units have so many. Like if, and then obviously with all those blues and greens, you're gonna lose, right? Like how are you expecting all this? And then they also get a rush within whatever it is, a combo or whatever, usually. And then you lose a unit instantly. And then you're down to two units. Like in the matter of like, probably 30 counts, 30 to 40 counts. And so like, what are you supposed to do then, right? Um, I actually want to use, you know, um, not, I mean, they're kind of crappy, but old old units, I'd say, old units. I want to use old units because it's fun. Um, I enjoy it. Um, I mean, why shouldn't I be able to use these units? That's great, I can, you know, summon for these new units. Ooh, shiny, fantastic, great. But I want to use these old units because it gets boring. I don't want to use the same team over and over again. Like, that's just redundant and boring. Uh, I don't have fun with that. I don't know how people can do that. I know a lot of people that do that. It's uh, crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. I don't know. I don't understand. Um, I think that's pretty much it for PvP on that. Um, Anything else? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, the ranking system's bad. Three week seasons are terrible. Um, yeah, okay, uh, let's go with that. So the, the rewards for PvP are not very good. They need to be better. Like you get some energy and skip tickets, like whatever. Soul exchange medals, big deal. Slot removers, like you get erasers from the raid. They're having seven raids. So why would I want more erasers? Like you get like, what is it? So you get seven, what even is that? Quick maths here, quick maths. Uh, so it's like you get 99 times two equals, so, oops, uh, 199, 198 times seven. Yeah, so you get about probably 15,000 erasers through this whole raid span of seven raids in a row. So why would I want that? That's stupid. Um, yeah, and then this, you get like some CC, like not, like what, well, I can't even remember what it was. I think it's like 300 CC, something pitiful. Um, just needs to be better overall. Just for the people that don't play that often, don't want to play. Uh, like, I don't blame people that don't want to play PvP, like, for the reasons that I stated, right? Just look at it as a brand new player, right? I've had, I had a couple new players um, that actually joined on my stream. Uh, one that only just started at the anniversary. has only been playing for about a month, right? So you get people like that that don't know really how to play the game because it takes a while to learn this game, right? All the uh, intricacies and all their kits and all that stuff, right? And how to actually play. Um, it's something that you can't actually just, you know, jump into, um, even though, you know, you start at BR0, but you can get pretty quickly to BR50, right? It's not 
not that difficult. Um, but yeah, just because people like that, um, and they get throttled, right? And then, how is that fun for them? It's not. It's not fun for me, so it's definitely not fun for them, right? I somewhat know what I'm doing. Like, I mean, I never said I'm good. Nobody's really good at this game. It just takes, uh, you know, you need a lot of patience and uh, timing. That's pretty much it. Even if you have timing down, down pat, you know, you can still get rushed instantly, so it doesn't really matter. Um, like, eventually these units are just going to essentially play for themselves. It's going to be like an AI, right? It's going to be like, okay, off you go. Do this crazy stuff. It's already, like, almost at that because you got UGB with his gauge, right? You do a blast with his gauge, he, do, he gets a blue card. Um, some units counteract that, but still. It's, uh, it's getting pretty close to where you can't play the game, like, at all. They're going to have a whole team of that, and that's going to be ridiculous. That's why uh, I, I expect UVB, but he's going to be ridiculously broken. He's he's probably he's probably going to cause a, another legendary maintenance. So um, around, I don't know, I would guess probably... Um, when would they do that? Uh, so it would probably be the end of the season when they release new characters. So I'd say the 26th of July is when they release... Uh, the new Ultra. So, uh, get ready for that legendary maintenance. It's probably going to be another day, uh, I would imagine. Uh, they had one for Jiren for some reason. He was just a Zenkai. And I'd be patient for if you use want to use him in PvP as well, because the game's probably going to crash. Because he is a popular unit. I'm not a Fusion fan myself. Um, like they're always in the meta, just like hybrids. That Trunks video was, uh, <laughs> I mean, if I had CMZ at 14, I would, I would, it would be him instead, right? So it was just merely coincidence. Uh, I don't really care that he's getting his Zenkai. Uh, it doesn't, it makes sense in a way. I'm kind of guessing that he's going to buff uh, blue future Trunks Saga units if he doesn't then it's kind of a random zenkai i mean you can still run him with the new unit right so it's it's kind of a weird unit uh to zenkai right now uh obviously not expecting it but uh obviously i'd rather cmz as i've seen you know a bunch of other people post as well that they'd rather cmz uh, I agree with that. I am not a fan of Trunks. In the anime, he is a useless character. I'm sorry if he's one of your favorite. That's just my opinion. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like him. It makes sense. Like He gets one good arc and they're like, okay, let's just go through that. The dude has one arc and they release like a bajillion fucking characters. Um, except for this one. So you get, so yeah, he, the guy has like two arcs. Uh, this one obviously from Android Saga. Android Cell, and then he has his own arc, right? So he has one, two, three, four. Uh, that's from that one. That's from the movie. Yeah, he has four from one arc. And... Two RLFs. Like, how how much longer are you going to milk this shit, man? Like, I, I like using different units and all that, well but... You amaze me. I just don't understand what they're doing sometimes. It doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, so just a couple other things. Like, training... Why isn't this halftime all the time? Like, what do they have to gain out of that? It doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't even know why it's that long. Why isn't it, like... I don't know, 10 seconds. Why does it take so long? Why do I have to wait? I know, I'm just like nitpicking, but shit. Like, I want to use this unit, right? Like, I don't want to wait that long, I, even though it's a minute. Still, it should be faster. Uh, long last I wish they... 
brought back the uh, equipment bonanza for longer. It's only here for like a week. That's not long enough. It should have been here all uh, anniversary from the beginning. Um, even with that, the rates are still kind of shit for me uh, personally. I don't know about for anybody else. But um, yeah, equipment's just always been so ass for me for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Rerolls still should be better. They should they should bring um, the equipment bonanza all the time. It should be available all the time. I question all the time why they don't have it, like as a a thing to stay, right? What do they have to gain from keeping it here for a week here, a week there? I, I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, yeah, just re-rolling such a pain in the ass. Uh, An Equipment Awakening is even worse. I can't stand it. It's terrible. Um, and speaking of Equipment 2, like releasing uh, absolute shit equipment like this and uh, making them unique equipments is uh, terrible. Uh, why would I waste my resources on this uh, dog shit uh, unique plat when I can, you know, do this one? Even though it doesn't really use, it uses different things, but uh, it's kind of a bad example, but um, I don't know, an LF plat or like this, like an actual good uh, unique equip. Why would I waste my resources on this for a crap unit? Like, what's the point of even releasing these if... Like, I get it's not something that they wanted to project them into, like, top 10. I at least wanted them, like, usable. This doesn't make him usable. Like, he gets card draw speed and shortened sub count as his... This is supposed to be, like, a main... The third slot is, like, a main thing that they get. It's their best thing that they have. Like, what? Certain sub count and card draw speed. That's terrible. Like some things that you release doesn't make sense. I, I don't understand. Um, yeah, so let's jump to anniversary. Uh, so far it's been really good actually. Um, is that because, is everybody think it's the best because all the other celebrations have been absolute shit? Probably, yeah, it's because that's actually the truth. Uh, all the other celebrations have been terrible, except for the Legends Fest with Goku, uh, GV, and Trunks, which was a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. That's why I'm also kind of surprised. Uh, they did Ultra uh, UI Goku and Trunks. I don't know why they didn't wait until Legends Fest, because that's when they came out. Doesn't really uh, make sense, but I mean... I would rather have Gogeta Blue Zenkai instead of UI. And then um, CMZ, to be real. Like, I would much rather have that. Even though I don't like Fusions, I dislike hybrids even more. So, um, that would have been way more hype. Uh, maybe they're saving him. Maybe they are actually going to do another Zenkai. Like, three Zenkais this anniversary? Possibly. Maybe. Uh, Gogeta Blue definitely does need it. Obviously, <laughs> he's uh, very old. Um, but yeah, he would uh, definitely crash the game. He's probably the favorite. I, I don't know anybody that doesn't like this unit. Like, he's fantastic. Like, he was actually... I mean, he was pretty ridiculous getting uh, Covernal to come in, but obviously nothing compared to now, right? How the units are. But... Overall, like, he didn't get constant cover and all. Like, it was only two cummins, so you can play around it. Uh, and his green card was pretty hard to land, so there's a little give and take. And I would say he's pretty balanced overall, like, when he came out. Um, obviously, you can, like, spam cards and, you know, because of his cover and all and all that, but, um, like, everything about him is, like, really cool. Like, his animations, his LF, everything, so... Definitely be interesting when that guy LFs. I would imagine it would be coming out pretty soon, but who knows with Legends, right? Like, nobody expected Trunks to come, like, Zenkai. Like, what? I don't I don't know. Uh, yeah, so overall, the first unit, uh, Goku Frieza. Uh, did they really need uh, to be that crazy? 
Uh, no, they did not. Um, they got a lot more than they needed. They, all they needed was every time they switched, well, switched to Frieza at least. They get, I'd rather have them every time they switch, they get Vanish back uh, 70%. I'd rather have that than them giving them uh, ridiculous damage. And also, apparently, they give them more blues and greens. Like, again, with this shit, every new unit has blues and greens constantly. Like, firsthand, like, just in my experience, uh, I'd imagine other people have the same experience as well. But, uh, yeah, it's just ridiculous. It's not fun. So, uh, I don't know if they can do something on their end, but, yeah, that's ridiculous. There's no way that's, like, random. I don't buy that at all. I don't buy that. Um, how they have a rush and they get a blue and a green afterwards? No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, so anyways, I got off track a little bit. Um, Goku Frieza, I think they did them too much. They're actually ridiculously good. Like, this team is absolutely crazy. Uh, is it the best team in the game? Um... I would, I would say so, yeah, because it uh, competes with the regen team, right? This is also a up there, top five team, I would say. Uh, just because you got double endurance and revival, right? It's, that's always going to be good. Because uh, you don't have UGB floating around anywhere, so. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, then you have other stupid crap, right? Like, I don't know, future. Ugh, I can't stand future. Um... Uh, yeah, so Goku Frieza, they did them too much. Uh, second unit, Gamma, the Gammas. Um, they're not, they're actually, I would say, good. Um, they're solid. Um, I wouldn't say they're overdone. Just because that uh, preparation mode, Core Buster, or is it Core? Core Breaker, sorry, is. I'd say it's a hindrance instead of a, a good thing. Just like the Buduo, obviously uh, they learned a little bit from them. It's unfortunate that the Buduo is actually ass. Uh, they do that every time a new mechanic uh, is put on a unit. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why. It happened with, if you remember, Blue Beerus. It happened with the Buduo. Um, and then, yeah, like units like that, right? Um, anybody else? UI, right? He had the first dodge mechanic, and he's crap. Um, he's is he better on Zenkai? He's still annoying. I can't stand that he's back in the meta. But um, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, this yeah. So Piccolo, my first uh, I'll showcase. Obviously, I crapped on him a little bit. He was only eight stars. Um, I still stand by that. He was pretty bad. Um, maybe if I ran him on this regen, he'd been better. Obviously, right? Like you have a lot of good backups. Uh, I ran him on movies the first time um, with nothing, no, nothing fancy, like no uh, Zenkai's or um, support, anything like that. Just because I want to see how they are as a, you know, a unit stand, a standalone unit. Um, just comparably to every other unit. I think that's fair to do. Uh, just do that originally and then, you know, put him on an actual good team. Um, I'll say he's way better at 14 stars. Wow, surprising. Crazy. Um, that's another thing too with this Arts Boost. Um, this ad Arts Boost adds 13,000 uh, for each stat. Strike Blast and then double both of the defenses. <clears throat> so this guy was only 275 on strike, which is terrible. And then his defenses were only uh, mid 170s. That's just not good enough. This is what his stats should have been on release. So I don't know if that's what they're doing for some reason, just giving them lower stats. So then we have to do arts boost for them and then make them where they should have been. I don't really get the logic behind that. Um, obviously, it's ridiculous you can do that with brand new units. Um, I will be doing that with 
whoever the ultra is uvb or whoever the hell comes out um it just makes them more broken because they have arts boost they have featured boost and then they have like a zenkai or two uh support probably um and then everything else they have on their kit right that's probably gonna be serbly broken uh, my guess is he'll be <laughs> probably like FSK again. Uh, he'll be uh, dominant as hell. He'll be ridiculous. Uh, nobody's going to like him. People are going to summon and instantly hate him. And people will uh, lose their mind probably. That's uh, just my guess on that. <laughs> and it's probably going to happen. Uh, yeah, so Piccolo, I did all that. But so far the units have been pretty so really solid. Uh, I haven't had an issue with any of them. Um, yeah, the events for the anniversary are obviously good. Um, obviously bringing back everything there, got your full power battles, um, all the free play units, you know, old ass pieces of crap. Going back, they got added this extreme battle. Uh, I like the seven weeks of raids. Um, it's been pretty easy getting them all, everything from the shop, so... That's been nice. Uh, anniversary towers, just something easy you can do. Um, obviously, I do not recommend doing that. It wastes, what, like 10 energy for one? So if you do 10, it would be 100 energy. Don't do that. You get nothing for it. Like, what do you want? Sparking metals and like everything else is garbage. The rewards there are shit. Uh. This LF, or LF7, this uh, 17 is uh, kind of a weird Zenkai. Uh, not too sure why he Zenkai. He does purple android. So Cell got a buff. Um, he needed a Zenkai for sure, but was it the time? Not really. I don't know why he released. Especially a purple unit when you just released a LF yellow. I don't understand. Uh, obviously this Ultra Rush was great because you got triple uh, medals, so it's always good. Get your, you know, Awakening equipment. That can be so fun and fantastic to do. Really easy. Uh, all these uh, free-to-play units coming back are obviously great for new, uh, new players. I just wish that um, as soon as this event is done, like say these two for example, Cooler and 13, they just throw them over here just like uh, these guys here and keep them there full time again what do you have to gain for taking free to play units out of the game like oh sorry you if you're brand new to the game you don't have enough like a lot of energy or you know resources to I mean they're pretty easy but I don't know it's obviously been a long time since I've <laughs> Uh, they're pretty easy. I mean, you do it once a day and stuff like that, but obviously the majority of uh, Z power you get from co-op and that's another big issue in this game Which I'll get to Co-op. All right um, Yeah, so just throw them over there Like keep them there all the time Why are you getting rid of free-to-play units? I don't understand. Doesn't make sense uh, Yeah Everything else is fine. I mean, you got plenty of events. Could they add more events? Sure. Um, they've given away quite a bit of CC. Obviously, not enough for what people want. Obviously, people want more all the time, but what can you do, right? They're not going to give 10,000 CC away, right? That's just ridiculous. They're giving quite a bit away, so. Uh, next is this co op. This is absolute garbage. I hate co op. I hate what they did with it. I mean, I like that they changed it. I mean, this is the first time ever that they actually changed it. Um, yeah, the fact that uh, the the bot can come up and like lock you in whatever that paralyze thing is that they do, uh, that's just annoying as hell. It's uh, tedious and really annoying. Um, I hate it. I do like that you can never get guessed because there is that gauge, right? When you uh, when you rush the bot, I do like that. That's good. And then when the bot rushes you, you have that that gauge back as well, to where you can get that arrow between the yellow uh, that yellow area. 
I do like that. That's pretty much all I like. Co-op is still shit. Um, it will always be shit. Uh, they definitely need to fix that somehow to make it fun. Uh, I doubt they will do that, though. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, nothing really to say. You get free-to-play units. Uh, sometimes, like, you get free-to-play unit uh, Z-Power, and you get... Um, I like how they've been giving um, unique equipments away as well from co-op. Um, it's just that some are pretty shit. I mean, you're going to get crap ones anyways. You're going to get crap ones from PvP or PvP shop, you know. But anyways, uh, another crap event is... Uh, where is it? T.O.P. Which is under maintenance right now, so... But yeah, T.O.P. is garbage. Uh, nobody likes that. Uh, I just wait till the last day to do it. It was terrible. I don't know anybody who likes it. Who enjoys it? I don't know. I haven't seen anybody who actually enjoys that. It's stupid. I mean, the only reason you do it is to get CC, and that's pretty much it. It's whatever. Uh, guild needs to be redone as well. Great. Amazing. Thanks. Like, you have to be top 100 to probably get anything good. Um, I mean, usually... The guild that I'm with is around like top 500 or something, something like that. I don't know. I don't really pay much attention. Uh, it just takes takes forever. It's either they should give us more of those medals, or make it. Uh, what was it again? TLP. Or uh, no. Guild. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, it's over here. Or lower these. Like this costs 300. You know how long it takes to get 300? That's like over a month. To get like... Oh wait, sorry. Uh, five, sorry, 500. 500 medals to get 300 sparking. And then what is this random shit? 500 or higher, 6 or below? What? That's dumb as hell. 7 or higher? Like, can't you just make that in general? Like, that's stupid. I, I don't understand what they do. Why they do things they do, doesn't make sense. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope everybody's enjoying Anniversary. hope, uh, you know, I know some people are gonna get shafted and gonna get upset, right? But that's just the name of the game, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I can think of anything else. Um, yeah, just mainly PvP needs to be fixed. They need to get rid of Pvs. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay. So, to fix PvP, get rid of Pvs. I'm tired of that shit. Uh, just PvP fishing, like, as I said before. Uh, and then the rush. They either need to lock that for a certain amount of timer counts. I'd say probably 60. Um, and then when, when one of your units dies, you can get your rush if you have it farmed up. Like, if you don't, obviously, you're not going to get it. Because there are, that way, um, the units that subtract them, um, take them away, uh, add them, you know, can still do that. Um, that way it won't take away from any of those units. Um, yeah, it should just it should just be locked for a certain amount of timer counts. Um, or when you have a unit down. As well, because I'm, I'm so tired of getting rushed within one count or uh, one combo. It happens so often; it's ridiculous. It's it doesn't want me to. It makes me not want to play the game, right? It's so irritating and tedious. Uh, it's then you have to guess, right? I mean, <laughs> you have a one in four chance of guessing. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, I kind of wish it was maybe to make it a little bit better if it was like that gauge with the swinging arm. So if it was like clashes, I mean, I'm pretty shit at clashes, so I'd probably lose anyways, but I'd probably have a better chance at doing that than guessing a card that they have, right? Because most of the time they use a blue, or, uh, a blue or green just before rush, and then they rush, and then they use a blue or green again. Um, because they have them all, um, you know, constantly all the time. 
Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna speak on hoi poi as well. Uh, this hoi poi has been uh, not great. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I never get this, ever. Let me know if you've ever actually gotten that. Like I've spent like, like this anniversary alone, this will probably be, uh, let's see, probably 3,000 um, hoi poi coins. And I haven't got this yet. So I don't know what the percentage is. It's probably ridiculously low. Um, but yeah, through I've never gotten it at all. Even the 100 Z power when they gave it that when they've quote unquote given that away, trying to give that away. Um, I never even got that, uh, and I've spent like 3,000 coins as well. Um, just everything that um, this hoi poi gives isn't very good. Um, it should be giving um, energy and um, skip tickets, right? Because, actually, and Zenny as well. Might as well give Zenny. Uh, we need more resources. Uh, like, gold bars are cool, but, you know, you need a lot of those. Um, it gives us erasers sometimes, but I already said we can get enough of those. Um, it gives us fragments and uh, souls, but not that many. Um, super souls, it's like, gives us like three. Uh, regular souls, it's like, I don't even know what it is. Like a hundred or something, something pitiful. Um, so yeah, just just little things like that, just to make it better. Um, I think that's it, pretty much. Yeah, tournament power needs to be better as well. I don't even know what to do to fix that. Obviously, they're not going to fix that. It's brand new. They worked a long time on it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, Legends ranking. It's like, it's relatively easy to do it. Like, just do these, right? Then you essentially get the... I like the fact that they changed it. Now you can get double, so you can get two of the equipment. That's a lot better. Um, but yeah, how people get up so high, I have no idea. Like, you have to be cheating. There's no way. Like, how do you get 34 million? Can somebody explain that? Because I finished uh, 11th here, and I got 19 million. I saw one of Gresh's uh, videos there. He finished like 22 million one season. I buy that, because that guy does a lot, right? But how do you get 34 million? How's that even possible? What do you spend like 10 grand on the game like <laughs> every season? Like, I, I don't understand because you have to constantly summon. Summon and spend energy, that's the most you get. Um, you get more points from that, right? Just don't really understand. Uh, yeah, so you just finish one or two in your group. It's not you know crazy hard. Uh, to do, I mean, it's fine. You get some pretty good, you get really good equipment from it, so I'm totally fine with Legends ranking. It's just, yeah, I just don't understand how you get number one for getting 34 million. That doesn't make any sense to me, but whatever. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it for my rant slash discussion. Hmm. Just uh, hope uh, everybody gets what they want for the upcoming Ultra. Hopefully he's not too crazy, but he will be. I know that. Um, and yeah. If you want to think of anything else. Um, if you can relate, or if you have anything else that I didn't say, uh, just let me know down in the comments, and I'll uh, be sure to reply to them, like I always do. Um, so with all that being said, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll uh, see you in the next one.